Hi, welcome BM to Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Of course, uh, final upload for the day with respect to the preparation, pre-match analysis for weekend games never out of us all across Europe. Of course, the big ones that were Spain, in Italy, um, in England. Obviously, big one I want Chelsea versus Manchester United. I want to subscribe to the channel now. I'm a cheaty. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notification. In the notification, turn and make sure that you choose all here. It's Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Of course, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you stuck with us all through these times. I was on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. There is a lot. To unpack for you, oh, that's on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. It stick and say, I want to also remind you, say, Yame Aduma on Sunday, on Sunday, here on Fifi Manfred on YouTube, we are doing a live reaction show. Oh, Fifi Manfred on YouTube, me and Eric Chado from Nisha, the host on Nisha, I'm here a live reaction show. It was the game between Chelsea and Manchester United. We'll be going on. Rich is going to be seated there. I am going to be seated there. We'll be watching the game, and of course, you will be seeing our reactions. On the game, no, and we'll see how finally the game will pan out. Of course, after the game, you yeah, the post match analysis, never bro. And then the rest of the analysis, no, will follow us on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. It, subscribe to the channel, no, turn on notification in the notification telling, make sure say you are going to choose all send a bear whether live, whether you're posting a time down, all of the content here, the better one where you first get it here on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. The first thing, and then you do come on, he said. And I'll pay. There was breaking news, two of them. First one, I said Real Madrid are rumored say on person who turn a brand new friend Orient Chimeni. Now, I get revealed for a revealed for a report from Spain, and it looks as if say the whisper bed around Marsani Mundomo are also reporting something similar. Say on the Madrid phone a lucky a little bit of a control. I will make sure them in the middle of the pack in games this season. And uh, it looks as if said they wanted to see, say, especially from Carlo Ancelotti and um, the data team of Real Madrid. No, any reports, a man, no, he is. I'm getting to the point, say, I'm believing in the controlling ability of Orient Chimene. And so, I'm betting a ton for somewhere in the region of 60 80 million. Maybe I'm gonna get a crack back home. Now, come back with Chelsea, no matter how far, right here, friend, Enzo. Fernandez and I'll pay also coincidentally and yet say the wife of Enzo Fernandez area hey, to Instagram on Instagram no um the wife um Venetia hey, Eka said or oh, no any Enzo Fernandez are going their separate ways now and crow home so they are still going to be farming but essentially no or no air con is separate ways Enzo Fernandez air con is separate ways and Enzo will focus on certain things according to an Argentine journalist according to Enzo Fernandez no, or see most of the time, man, I'm quite young. I'm quite explore. I'm quite happy time. Man, I He didn't get it because he chose a partner very, very early, and then he wants to go back and then have that time with himself and then have some level of freedom for honor Enzo Fernandez. So that is what's going on on the part of Enzo Fernandez. Uh, mother and four are looking at selling Oriente. Many to go and buy. Now, my first question to you, I was on Fifi Man for the YouTube. It's hey, simple. Where are you senior? Do you want? Are you comfortable? Say Madrid for any say eighty million, hundred million, never before Enzo Fernandez and now mind you, Chelsea over a young boy Andre Santos on loan away at RC Strasbourg over the French league animal. Are you comfortable? Say Enzo Fernandez, a bet, a bet call Real Madrid and I say Madrid is kind of about eighty million, hundred million. Are you going to be okay if Enzo Fernandez moves away to Real Madrid? If you're a Madridista, the question is that. Say more tone or any shimmy. Now some of the controller in the middle of the packer. It's Enzo Fernandez the one because there are two names in the bus when I open. It is Enzo Fernandez, any abrantia, and your friend Rodrigo Hernandez Cascante. Oh, um, these are the two players that uh, Madrid for now looking uh, on 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 the reports from Spain or what is coming out and he say in Kofobi Bri Eka say Rodri Enya he will return to Spain. For a certain number of years now, we need a ballon d'or and that Joseph Guardiola and Manchester City. So maybe it is time for Benchia Fred and Rodri, somewhere 25 26 years now, to return um, to Spain. It is very, very important. Said sometimes players not quite away from a home nation, they would want to go back and then see how things are done over there. To your Madrid star, do you want to Rodri and also Pedro Fernandez? We are Chelsea. Would you like Enzo Fernandez to be sold to Real Madrid, given the fact that 
recent times, the results haven't really come for Enzo Fernandez. I'm one of the people that believe strongly. Say Enzo Fernandez is a very, very important player. Um, he gives Chelsea a lot of dynamism on the ball, off the ball. Plays well. Gives Chelsea a lot of things um, over there. But are you going to expect, will you want him to leave Chelsea and then go and play for Real Madrid? Now? Because of course, so Enzo Fernandez, yeah, he's a deep line playmaker at Chelsea. It looks as you said, all of a sudden, Romeo Lavia and the Moises Kai said, hey, the two main starters in that role ahead of Avanti FN and Enzo Fernandez. So, Samad Red is cover. Maybe the owners will look at letting Avanti FN and Enzo Fernandez go to Real Madrid. On the part of Real Madrid, um, this weekend, game has some common Valencia ever in the Spanish La Liga. No? Um, and TIA, they said there have been some huge flood of oh, Valencia, Cromonum, and then Uti, La Liga are postponing some match. No? Between Valencia and its team at your friend Real Madrid at the Mestaya this weekend, next time Real Madrid echo we go by the Mestaya against Valencia for them. But they have been flat. I mean, serious ring for serious downpour. Our Valencia crew on them into any area match on every basso. But essentially, um, uh, um, um, Spanish Football Federation for them have decided to write off the game to effectively postpone the match you know, to a later date said by uh, uh, the people of Valencia can commiserate with themselves and then calm down and then hope say the rains will subside then probably the football come obviously football and you always second fiddle to some of these things on the part of Real Madrid still I'm um, killing Tony Mbappé returning to training Jude Bellingham returned to training indoors um, Antonio Rudiger returned or Renchi many I can once he was there and Eduardo Camavinga was there Vinicius Jr. Adam Militao all of these Real Madrid players are very important to them. We're back in full training for Carlo and Chalotti. And I'm more prepared. I've um, said this week on one more game because subsequently they will go on and play. Of course, um, the hangover of the defeat against Barcelona. And of course, the, um, the fact that Obita Venetia Junior could not win the Ballon d'Or. No? Obviously, it's going to probably affect them to an extent. But I don't think it's a bit hard our partner. So, and that's it for Real Madrid. Of course, on the part of Chelsea on Sunday, yeah, build up. To that big one at the Old Trafford, big one at the Old Trafford, of course. And now, uh, Ocean win a Manchester United in your uh, uh, and a new manager, yes, I um, mean, seemingly new manager, Root Van Estere for Manchester United, almost a team in front of Leicester City by five goals to two. To be very honest, and now uh, performances now was next level for Manchester United. And then your team, be a, a, a bad team, sir. Uh, it is Leicester City from the English Premier League at the Old Trafford, they did run riot of team a friend um, Leicester City and it's obviously means to say this game is going to be a huge one over the weekend and so back uh, Enzo Mareska Ekaye in the pre-match press conference ahead of Newcastle say so we share games are not all born all of the matches are not on one born not wash it Eric Ten Hag team you know, in preparation. Then he wants to watch Abrantia, your friend Ruth Van Estre, PSV team in preparation. And I feel that Onya and NTS Ruben Amorim may come in and be in the dugout on Sunday for team and friend Manchester United. So he went ahead to go and watch Ruben Amorim's team to see if he can watch them to prepare for the game. But and then in TN and they said it is going to be Ruth Van Estre and Obewa in the dugout for team and friend of Manchester United and then not. Abrantia, your friend uh, Ruby Amorim over the weekend. It's going to be good vanish Troy. And about when they dug out there for Manchester United in that big game. And now players now a boy in the game against Newcastle and then a day off. And then the guys that did not travel, guys no man Bobby the cool palm. Mind you, Chelsea area stay 11 players. 11 players, one full squad ahead of some Manchester United game. So the players should be fresh. Barring any injuries, our training ground, uh, Romeo Lavia, Moise Caicedo, Reese James, and Chilohan, um, Tosin Adre, um, Levi Cole, Abrante FN, Wesley Fofana, and Abrante FN, Malo Gusto should make the back. Of course, Robert Sanchez in post in the middle of the pack, um, Lavia and Moise Caicedo. Of course, as a 10 a.m., Abrante FN, or Cole Palmer in there. Then I'm expecting, so there's going to be Pedro Neto, Noni Madueke, and Abrante um, your friend Nicholas Jackson. Maybe Jaden Sancho may start because Manchester United for will not push very high. I don't think that they will press aggressively high. I think that they will leave some spaces at the back. I think that they will sit a little bit deeper. And Chelsea, on my, on my catch, Chelsea, it's okay. Come and break us down. If you're able to break us down, then you get to go. When men break us down there, then we will get in behind you and then we'll use the pace of Alejandro Ghana to use the pace of Marcus Rashford and then we'll hit you where you're showing him. It's so much, you know, preparation and on and then now Renato Viega, like I said, I'm going to call back to the training ground and they are preparing 
for that game against Manchester United. Our old Trafford big game versus Manchester United at the old Trafford. We are I keep on asking, are you confident? Um, say as a Manchester United after beating Leicester City for no, I say, or many of them they believe say they can win, and of course, obviously, there's a rush of adrenaline. They believe say now they can fight for something. There's a new manager bounce, and normal when teams like this and things like this do happen in games. Are you very, very confident? Say, we are here. Yeah. Chelsea beats my cup, old track for the Kwako Shana. Now, open, say, mm -hmm. the head to head of both teams in recent times. Uh, Chelsea air go away to Old Trafford in the last few games. Uh, Ayana air thing. Chelsea do not get it easy when they go to and play at Old Trafford. In fact, getting a win at Old Trafford for Chelsea has been very, very difficult in the recent time. Chelsea air go away, not a ball match against Old Trafford. Uh, Ayana end that from cry over there uh, when you want to get the results in there. Of course, uh, Manchester United, uh, on my home games, uh, on my ball recently, you know, on my Leicester, on my Brentford, on my Lucy, Tutorial, Mosfet, on my draw to FC 20, and then of course, on my share Barnsley, seven goals to zero. Um, so also Chelsea away games, uh, we'll shoot to Newcastle, we'll shoot to Liverpool, where we need to Panathinaikos, where we need to West Ham United, where we need to Bournemouth. So for Chelsea, when they go away, it's either a win or a loss. But of course, so Manchester United, at Nephew, um, there are some mixed results. Be, our home and Old Trafford, um, 75,000 capacity over Old Trafford, and a sad game, no, air battle between Chelsea and Manchester United. On the English Premier table, Chelsea had a fit with 17 points, Arsenal, any um, Villa and the show with 18 points, of course, Manchester United had a 14th with 11 points, Obunya, they win this and they're closing on Chelsea with four points more to go, into obviously, 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 obviously. This is a game that's also very important for team my friend in Manchester United. And now, so she, Chelsea team on the ball, Newcastle now. Like I did say earlier, it is clear that Chelsea is going to go into this game with a new starting lineup, a starting lineup of a new team over oh, Chelsea. And it means that we will still see Chelsea like how they played against Liverpool, how they played against Manchester City. But like I told you, we are a very, very important game. An important game because... Chelsea this season, we can win. the fourth big game at Chelsea. Fourth big game. Now, Chelsea are against Man City, Wabo, Liverpool, Wabo, Newcastle, one and two, and Obabo Manchester United. In all of those games, we are against Newcastle in the league. So, going away to Manchester United, Chelsea need to put up a statement. And yes, sir. Rhetoric and Bella Bontini Baby said Chelsea are flat out bullies. Chelsea team crown crown are able to score them. But the big games where they are supposed to prove their metal and show that they are coming and they are getting closer to growth. And there's something really proper going at Kobam. No? One shiny yam and Chelsea will be missing out on stuff like that. It's a very, very huge game for Chelsea Football Club. And a hugely important game for Chelsea and the Enzo Maresca. That is why for me. To an extent, I didn't really care. Say Enzo Maresca and Reske who power more and for more so much you know. The bigger one is the three points over there. Trust me, what mean for Carabao Cup and compare getting to top four the English Premier League? Once you play in the top four the English Premier League, you qualify to go and play in the Champions League. A huge remuneration for any club you have in the English Premier League. That's why teams like Arsenal no air force it very very well to make sure say they are there. Over there, all of the teams don't want to make sure say they go and play in the top four. Okay, this season, she Villa, she Arsenal, she Liverpool, she Brighton and Hove Avenue, she Nottingham Forest, she Tottenham Mosper. All of these teams want to get certain level of consistency to be able to play in the top four, to qualify for the Champions League, and then get extra revenue in all of the games now. I mean, almost our English Premier League. Obviously, Chelsea will be going to the Old Trafford with two huge important news, and they said. A brand new friend Enzo Maresca has a fresh first eleven, and I'm back home with Rhys James at left back. Marlo goes to sending me at Chelsea back to the Bay. Rhys James, Levi Cole, and a brand new friend um 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 Westy Fofana. I will Then the front two to receive the ball in the half ten and play forward. Now every a brand new friend Romeo Lavia, any a brand new friend Moses Caicedo. They're obviously going to come up against maybe Manolo Gatti, any Casimiro will feel few on them, or maybe Diogo Dalo be in Vertia Ban feel few on them. When Manchester United and not game, if that's anything to go by, we've seen some Manchester United for build at the back with a 4 2 4. 
Now, I'm going to translate it into a 3, 2, 5, or any more. And then, of course, they try to pin you on the back. Only Bona, they come to sit in a mid block of a 4, 4, 2, base, two lines of 4, or any more. To make sure, say, on the prevent you from having a lot of central progression, a lot of central occupation. So, um, they will prevent you and limit the number of chances that will be when you are playing against them. It's game, maybe a very, 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 very exciting. Very, very exciting. And then, yeah, almost every player be are you prepared, are you ready to go and play in that game away at Old Trafford, Chelsea, and at Manchester United. A huge game in the big one. Our honor, El Coso. I am on the part in other news in the Spanish La Liga. Um, I'm a dear friend of Barca for I'm a contract extension to their new boy. I'm not mean to guy boy from the academy from the La Masia. I'm a friend of Femi Lopez. Femi Lopez and a contract extension to 2029. And he has said, So, La Masia boy or Peba said, You he wants to stay there for long and then he will push to be in FC Barcelona for a very, very long time and he wants to be there. Send a bay or bay, Jumanina, I'm a team, my friend FC Barcelona. This weekend, of course, Madrid for a year postponing on match. You know, Barca, our big game, our Spanish La Liga name, just so they can increase, um, on the increase on number of points at our one, our Spanish La Liga name, because Bas Real Madrid will not be playing. And on Saturday, Real Madrid should have played against Valencia, like I did mention. And then, obviously, on Sunday, Nanka Barca for a very one important game. To increase their points up top, our Spanish La Liga name compared to Nephi, or my against Espanol or my local rivals on our field. Of course, Barca are in huge form and they expect to say, or we'll be winning some match against team my friend ex Spanish. Um, Yami Arma on Sunday, even though say team, uh, your friend Real Madrid won't be playing their game, them we expect to say, Barca for a bit more on the Nako or Mashe or Honor. But of course, uh, that game will be postponed. I mean, the Madrid game, no will be postponed our home of course in the um, Barca for now starting ADD come on prepare for more season it looks as he said as Barca everything seems to be right will be I happy Pedri Gavi boys some cold training you know will be any other obviously social against the Madrid that's a Madrid player and your ballon d'or they are definitely you are going to be happy and that's exactly what is going on what's going on our team your friend FC Barcelona Joseph Guardiola and then in the pre-match press conference uh, now Odi who come on up uh, he has come to talk about a few things that I have most of the clubs uh, injuries and then Ocean Manchester City uh, the number of injuries at Manchester City one of a uh, enormous they have about eight different injuries uh, Manola Kanji Ebra muscular injury Savino uh, ankle or foot Josco Valdeo knock Kevin De Bruyne groin Oscar Bob in the nine Rodri in the knee Kylie Walker knee Jack Grealish unknown Jeremy Doku a uh, muscular problem uh, on Pep Guardiola uh, as a startling revelation opens our Man City's injury crisis as it stands now. Our uh, honor and Pep are uh, worried about it. Say Unyaya and can the players near fit in the They can go on to play games, but then the injury crisis now will go on this weekend. Manchester City is going to play some games as well. I'm um, more prepared to also clinch and make sure say the top of the English Premier League. Remember, my honor, I am more there so that consistently they will get their results there and then make sure say. They will make everything stick together. And then on Thursday, you might be being so you are things that we've run it up from all through Europe. Everything that goes that went on with Chelsea Football Club, everything that went on to with Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester City, Arsenal, so injury issues, Kakra with Martin Odegaard looking St. Combe returning to team my friend Arsenal and then get things running for them. Of course, on the other side, Liverpool are doing some exciting stuff and now in the car block blockbuster of the game chaotic game you couldn't really control it end to end action but liverpool outscored team my friend of brighton and hove abian i was so much and then they did come up to liverpool have moved on to the next round of the car cup on the issue of a branch of the rubina maureen we know saying i mean he's going to return on somewhere around the 11th of november and over here yeah, jumano for team up your friend of manchester united so united have their man but this weekend until some absolute Ipswich game in here, I bet you have been here. You have been here as manager of Manchester United. Can Chelsea go away to Old Trafford and then do their job against Manchester United? Or are Chelsea are going to be flat out bullish at the end of the day if they are unable to get the results against Manchester United? Wait, and then we'll bring you yet into the team. We've brought you just a bit around almost every man that's going to go on over the weekend. 
God willing, tomorrow we'll do more analysis when the coaches speak. I was on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. On Saturday, more pre match analysis. On Sunday, we watch the game live here on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Um, and of course, myself, Richard, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification in the notification channel. Make sure that you do choose all the last sports. Until we see you again, do take care. We'll see you. Bye bye.